Got a quick one for you guys tonight. This is the charge connector for your standard level 1, level 2 EV. It's called the 1772 connector. And what's happened on mine is the cable has pulled out of the end of the uh, actual connector that goes in the car. Which could be a dangerous situation if it were to cut through the insulation. Is this has got 240 volts at you know, 15 or 16 amps on it. So we need to make this safe. I'm going to open the plug up and see if we can fix it up. Let's check it out. I've already unplugged the other end, so this has got no power to it, and I've removed the screws. So I've got all the screws out from my charger. I'm going to try to get this thing apart so that I can uh, place the wires back into it because, uh, well, it got somebody gave it a yank while it was plugged into the car and pulled apart the, uh, the clamp. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well that should be easy enough. Just gonna push the wire back in here and clamp it back in. This is not the uh, Amazon charger I showed off before. This is one I picked up from uh, someone selling it on Facebook for the other car. I had been using my stock charger, which would run at 240, but it was only 12 amps. Whereas this one will give me 16, which is what the car, the car only charges at 15. It's a, a volt and only has a 3.3 kilowatt charger. My other one's got the bigger charger in it, but I use the same cable. I've got two of these 16 amp cables. So I can charge them both up at the same time on basically 30 amps. When I bought this one, I don't know, six months ago, I guess, off Facebook, the strain relief, the cord would actually turn inside the strain relief. So I knew that it, it, it wasn't attached properly inside, but I didn't open it up before because I for sure thought this thing was going to be completely potted. But as you can see, it's not, which is good because that means that it's easy to repair the wires if anything were to break. The cord were to break it, the strain relief, for example, it, it could be shortened and put back into the plug. At least this gives you a good idea what's inside these Chinese. Uh, because this is a Chinese uh, charge cable. As you can see, th they do have good heavy wires, so there's no problem with the wiring there. Those thin wires you see, those are just for signaling for the pilot signal, for example, that tells the car how much charge current the cable is capable of delivering. By the actual conductors, the yellow with the green, which is the ground, the blue and the brown, which are the two hot lines, they're ample current capabilities for 15 amps. wires down in here somehow there's only four of them so to get them out of the way the fifth wire is not used there's a couple wires that go down through resistors here for the, the switching network I was sure that this thing would be all potted, but it's it's not. Which I found was quite uh, unusual. I was sure that this would be all potted, but it isn't. Just the plug itself is uh, looks like it's kind of waterproof. But it was quite interesting to see how this thing came apart because I've never opened up one of these plugs before.
for those concerned, that little switch only has 12 volts on it. There's no high voltages around the switch. All the high voltages are on those heavy wires, which are sealed. Now what I do have to make sure is that there's no uh, wires that are going to get pinched when I put this back together or we could have a problem. And there is one wire that's right in the way. I've got to push it out of the way. It's one of the, one of the wires for the, the, uh, the sensing. Okay, I think we're okay. Good as new. Excellent. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so this is a dual CETA. This is just a 16 amp charger, 240 volts, that I picked up off Facebook for the second car. And uh, the, uh, say the, 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 I guess the clamp inside came loose and the wire came loose and uh, well, someone yanked on the cable and it pulled it right out of the end, so had to fix that before there was a bit of a problem there. Anyway, now you know what's inside one of these uh, if you need to fix it. They do come apart. Just pull out the screws and they pop apart quite easily. I'm missing one screw here still. Let's just get that last screw in. I figured this thing would be completely potted because my, my original Chevy Charger that uh, died on me a number of years ago that I replaced with the other cord that's similar to this the one I got off of Amazon for 200 bucks it it failed and it was this was completely potted like there was nothing you could get to it was just a complete blob of potting compound but in this one it's not so it's actually you can take it apart and repair it which is good because inevitably a wire will break and you'll have to shorten it a bit so that's good that you can get in there and fix it Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.